There's absolutely no sense in hanging on to a mistake just because you spent a lot of time and or money making it. Okay guys, I'm just gonna make this a little quick video. Uh, come to the realization that I need to stop with the, with the uh, crane project for right now. Uh, I've got a really bad design flaw and it's basically because I fly by the seat of my pants way too often. Most of the time it works out, um, but this time it didn't. Uh, when I went to the scrap yard to get these I-beams, I just saw, ooh, oh, big I-beam. Yeah, that'll work, That's, that'll, that'll support a lot of weight. Yeah, I'll get that. But I didn't think about the separation between the wheel and the bottom of the upright, which is uh, close to, it's close to a foot by the time you get to the center line of this axle to the base of that. And I'm, I'm not an engineer, I don't know. All I do know is that that's a lot of leverage. And the other really bad design flaw is this right here. You can see how I was wanting to bolt the uprights to the I-beam. Uh, and that's kind of coming back to bite me because it's overhanging way over here. And I should have known that wasn't going to work. Should have known. I just think that it's best to stop now. Um, I can always remake the bottom of this thing. I've never been happy with how tall it is. I hooked the tape measure to the bottom of the uh, I-beam there down to the ground and we are a little over 10 feet tall and there's really no sense in this thing being that tall. Uh, I really want to make this thing work. I'm not going to give up on it. I just got to I just got to redo something with this. This is this is just not safe and I got you know, I got to say that I might joke around a lot about, you know, getting hurt and things like that. But really, I don't want to get hurt, obviously. And I most definitely don't want to die. Um, I've got way too much to live for. Uh, and even worse than that, I don't want someone else that may be around this thing or may be using it. I don't want them to get hurt either. So... Worst case scenario, scrap the project, go buy one from Harbor Freight and be done with it because I'm going to be honest with you, my life is worth way more than the $850 it would cost to buy that one. And uh, it's engineered to be, you know, to lift one ton, I believe. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just try to redesign the feet because trying to overcome all the stuff that I would need to make this somewhat safe, it's just it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm gonna have to add bracing right here and bracing right here to tie this in. I have to put webbing in here and I'll have to close the ends. I mean, it's just getting to the point to where it's just, it's just, it's just getting to be way too much. And if you have to try that hard to make something safe, then maybe you just need to do what I'm doing and stop, reevaluate, and, and redesign. There's absolutely no sense in hanging on to a mistake just because you spent a lot of time and or money making it. Because if it hurts you, if you get killed, there's just no coming back from that. So. It may be a little while before we see something else about the crane, but I'm definitely going to fix this problem. This can't stand. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you later.